to really commit to the voice acting this time, Kelly. Hey, I was, I was acting okay, all right. like, last uh, time. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll do it this commit. time. All right, fine. What, <laughs> governor? Oh, God. Oh, uh. Okay, anyway, um, I got into the habit of just writing out like whatever I like just I write se- uh, separate messages for like every thought I have oh yeah you have an avalanche of text yes right? yeah like I have no shame in triple texting whereas it's you're more like, than triple texting sometimes uh, right? okay like <laughs> 15 messages out of you like you know slowly like in- incrementally describe something but go on yeah and whereas you I think you send like longer messages like yeah, single yeah messages. I'd rather put it all into one big message so it's all together you know yeah well, but I really appreciate what I really appreciate about this guy is you always answer like if I, if I even send you an avalanche of messages like however many I send you always reply to every individual thought. I try I, to at least. Yeah, well, some well some people like I talk to them and then they they only reply to the last thing I sent and I'm like, well, did you do you even read the other stuff? Did you not deign to like? Are you not even going to deign to respond or acknowledge like all the memes I sent? Like, but oh, you always respond to them. So hurt by that. <laughs> yeah, I am because like I like every single moment I'm like I want that to be acknowledged. You know, it's like I send those memes, they're gifts, they're mm. love language. Um, oh. Yeah. So, if any of you are feeling a little fancy and want to want to take someone out and be like, hey, we're going to do something nice, <laughs> but not too nice, not too nice. <laughs> but then you can just get like scones with clotted cream and, and 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 strawberry jam, which is also just that is traditional afternoon tea. Yeah, I say there. scones, not scones. Scones, darling. Scones. Scones. Yeah, but I think because because scones were made in Scotland, weren't they? And they say and you know they they had, like Scottish accent. Scones. It's like, scones. 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 <laughs> yeah, I think either of us are going to say it that scones. way. You know? Yeah, but I, but when I I think when kind of posh people say it. they also say scones well, it depends if you're going to cut glass darling you say scones <laughs> oh wow, oh, wow. oh my god wait has he got gargoyles at the front damn fucking right right oh man wow look at all those bones and the dog and the whippet in the yeah. background let me do it for you <laughs> <laughs> incredible hmm. right Mm. Why is this the noise? Like noises? Dad noises? Yeah, you know like I, mean? I don't know if you're hearing this on your end. I'm gonna turn up the volume slightly, but like the noises he's making are like. Mm. Imagine yeah, your dad mm. sitting down, then standing up, then sitting down again. Just like, <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, and this is the lie. Oh my god, he's got so many taxidermy butterflies. Oh, Wait, is it still called taxidermy? It is if... taxidermy, yeah. Yeah, okay, because okay, I thought a taxidermy might have just been referring to like if you like stuff the no, animals. No, like the taxidermy of insects is slightly different, but it is based basically preserving them for eternity so you can stand and marvel at the animals. Man, I used to have I used to have like a like a yeah bugs kind of taxidermy set, um, you know, hanging on my wall at home, and then it started stinking because I pr- I think it probably wasn't like insulated properly. It might be that they didn't like sterilize it properly as well, because like you gotta. I don't know the processes. My sister's done it herself. She's a fine aunt with taxidermy. So yeah, she's like loads of bugs and like I think there's a quail. And I remember going to a class with her and we taxidermied a mole. That was what? fun. Yeah. Oh my god. It was cute. Well, the mole. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a mole. Yeah, this is very Beauty and the Beast. Mm-hmm. Oh. And we're the beauty. Mm. Or is he the beauty? He's definitely more beautiful than our character, don't you think? Yeah. Well, very pallid skin. Oh, and no, his hair look looks a bit. Him, his He's hair, such... his hair looks. Uh, his hair's either really like just luscious or it's really greasy. You know. Both. So, well, yeah. I mean, it's just giving you slight and a Sabra Snape cape. vibes. I, I think capes should come back, man. Mm. Definitely. Mm. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn, Daddy. Go <laughs> with the white bands again. <laughs> Let's go. I, your home is really impressive. Yes. Yes. yes! And we got the penis. Yes. <laughs> Seems like you really put a lot of work into this place. Huh. Th- thank you. Did you just chew an ice cube? I did, yeah. Got a problem with that? Yes, what the fuck? <laughs> What's wrong with your teeth, man? <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't stomach that. Sensitive little pearly whites? Yes. Oh. I can't, I can't, I can't like bite into ice cream. It's like, I, have to, like, I mean, no, I don't bite into ice cream. No, it's just, it's just like a little bit of ice in my back into my mouth. Yeah, like, it's like, not that impressive. It was just like a, like a kernel of ice. Okay. I mean, I just thought you ate like a whole ass ice cube you, and just no, chewed. No, I'd be crunching for like a minute. <laughs> Right into the microphone for you, all you listeners. Oh my god, that's a new kind of ASMR right there. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city. Uh, to watch the marching band. Did he take you into the city? Yes. yes. <laughs> I knew it. Yes. Oh my god. Sorry. Oh no. Uh-huh. <laughs> did you guys see a marching band? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't understand. You're serious? Hmm. Of course. But it's... You know, the song. Amanda made me listen to it. Ellipsis. 
Seriously? I'd love to see him watching Ben. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think he's really endearing. He, he's going up in the ranks for me, I gotta say. Yeah. I think he's definitely A tier. Mm -hmm. A tier? A tier, yeah. yeah. How does he compare to Craig? Craig's like a dude bro, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but you knew him from college and you get yeah. along. And he seems the most keen to hang out with you. Well, that's because you're friends. Mm. You know, you're an old time friend. But like, I don't know if I'd want to date Craig. Maybe bang him, but like... I don't think you have the option to just bang oh, anyone well, apart from... for Robert. Except for Robert. Which is shitty. And I also don't like, just for the record, like, um, the fact that, like, yeah, you get, like, the bad dad, um, award for sleeping with him the first... I was just like, what's so bad about that? <laughs> you just have a one-night stand, like, the fuck? <laughs> I felt like I was a bit... I don't know. Felt a bit judgy to be like, oh, you hooked up in the first... So yeah, you're a bad I'm man. a slut and I don't care. Fuck you, game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dad's gotta get some action. Wife's dead. No one's touching this PP. Too busy with the child, you know. Oh, God. Life that strictly aligns to those ideals would be admittedly horrid. Fish and chips was good though. I had some uh, traditional Victorian fish and chips once. Oh. At, like, there's like, oh. it was a school trip. We went to this, um, this Victorian town that had been preserved. The fish and chips were amazing there. How Extras, are they different from fish and chips now? Just, just so much more vinegar and salt. I don't know what it is. It was just like. Oh, I don't oh, like adding salt and vinegar no, to. Because you're, you're not English. <laughs> we, that is true. We were raised that on is this very stuff. true. Yeah, no, we I didn't grow up. We have salt and vinegar and we don't use any other spices. Yeah. Hearing someone talk about the things they're passionate about is intriguing and quite honestly rather attractive. I mean that is true. Yeah. Seeing someone light up with the things they're passionate about. Yeah, like when I when I listen to you talk about Warhammer. Yeah. I talk about, <laughs> I talk about other stuff too. You or know. One Piece. Oh yeah. 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 Or um or Bloodborne. We finish our tea and finger sandwiches. Uh, finger <laughs> those sandwiches, boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're terrible at this. And, oh, this is a lovely wow! garden. Wow! Oh, it would be a beautiful English Oh my garden. god. <laughs> I used to date this guy who knew all of this stuff. Yeah? Did yeah. he send you very carefully arranged bouquets? No, 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 no. We were never romantic, but like, uh, yeah, we were, we were just kind of casual. But um, when he was uh, dating my other friend of benefits, he did send her flowers. Yeah, which was very cute. Oh, any guys so out cute. there who've been given a bouquet, it is honestly very disarming and like the nicest thing. I was I was I was um dating someone briefly last year who on my birthday she got me a bouquet of uh, yellow roses. Mm. Oh man, it was the sweetest thing. I was like I was honestly lost for words. I it was just this yeah. Was this was this Ruby or was this Lisa? Uh neither. Going no, forward. neither. It was someone else. Yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. I'm a little surprised it's not a rotary uh. phone. <laughs> Can you imagine carrying a rotary phone around? Have you ever seen a rotary phone? Yes. Okay, you didn't know what the save symbol was. So I, yes. I <laughs> not, okay. Um, so I, I don't. I, I like. I. I only know. I've never actually kind of used it, but so I know when I how was to use very, it. Very, very young. My parents have one in the house, but they would soon move to a digital phone, like a house oh, phone. Okay. But even then, like they have a digital phone in the house. It's like a home line line, but no one uses it anymore. Wait. Like, so did the... you have you have you ever used a rotary phone? No, I was too young to actually use it, but I was. They had one in the house when I was oh, a kid. Oh, okay. But this was I don't. Like, I don't remember having one. I mean, they must have, but I, I, don't, I was probably wasn't with old the enough. way you like roll it around. I mean, I found it quite like maybe it was the the latent autism in me that was just like, oh, this is this is feels great. You know? <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, rot get a rotary phone as a stim toy. <laughs> Our watermelons grew to the size of cherry tomatoes and then immediately died. Aww. I mean, same. I cannot plant things for shit. I love plants. I, yeah, no, can't really. If we live together, there's going to be so many plants. Great. And you're going to look after all yeah, of them. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> um, so we had, we had a, we had a, well, I say we, um, there's a chili plant here. There was one. Um, and you were looking after it, after it, and you come over to my place often enough that, like, you know, just you just water when I'm here, it. and literally yeah. you're gone for, like, three days and it's dead. Yep, yeah, it's dead now. Even then, like, it was like, you know, you just don't think to water stuff. Like, you have a plant in your bathroom. Yeah. You never, I'm the one who waters it. I'm surprised it's not dead already. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've never watered Yeah. Having um, plants is nice. Yeah. Um, how's your quitting vaping thing going? Oh, man, it's weird. Yeah? Have, have you successfully not vaped? <laughs> It's been, what, three days now? Feels like longer. <laughs> but have you successfully not vaped? Um, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, no! Why did you vape? Uh, when I was at uh, my friend's place, they had a vape, and I uh, had a tipple. <gasps> did you know how Damien is trans? Honestly, he's my dream daddy. I oh! Mean, that's I cool. see that, but also, like... Well, okay, that's not appropriate to say. You can't tell. <laughs> no, no, I would... I, I mean, like, it wouldn't surprise me if someone was, like... 
this character is actually trans. Yeah, okay, I, that's I just fair. haven't, I, I had no inkling until this person put a comment in there, you know? Yeah. At least I had enough sense to stay out of creepy basements. What is, what are they doing? Drugs? Lucien has a bloody nose. <gasps> <gasps> they had a fight. Okay. Thanks for coming. I can't make uh, heads or tails of this. Uh, <laughs> no, I look I around. This... I love you, son. Oh, Damien's uh, such a good dad. Yes. Love you too. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my Teenage God. Teenage son says I love you back. That uh, would be impossible to get out of me. Yeah. Oh my God. Also, um, I, I think I'm seeing a difference between Damien and Hugo now because, he, you know, both of them have rowdy sons, right? Yeah, but yeah. Like, Hugo's more, like, authoritative with Well, he was son. saying that at the barbecue in the last session we did where he's yeah. like, I don't like being the authoritarian dad, but because he's a teacher and a dad, he, he has, like, no be. kind of choice to be authoritarian because that's just all he is and all he knows. Yeah, but also he's a bit stuck up. Oh, a little. But yeah. he's hot, though. Yeah, that like, I'm, I'm actually, Ooh. like, right now, like, I actually think that uh, Damien's kind of edging above Hugo. Edging, yeah. No. <laughs> hey. I, I walked into that one. You did. Um, yeah, no, but, but I do, I, I like him more than Hugo. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that way too. Like, yeah. Hugo's like an interesting guy. He's got a lot to offer. He's, an, he's, a, he's a cool teacher. He's, you know, wears a great suit. But he seems a little bit two dimensional. Whereas like, he seems a bit Damien is like, he has his passions and his hobbies and he's like made it part of his identity. And he's also a very caring father who's patient. Mm. Damien is such husband you material at the same time. Yes, right. absolutely. I mean, he's going up to A tier. I mean, if we go on a couple, another date with him, I'm thinking like he might go up to S tier with the, uh, with Matt. Yes. It would be my honor and my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Damien bows with a flourish. Oh my God, Classy. Damien, just let's just put a ring on that finger. Oh. Hopefully, it's our butthole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Yes. <laughs> Terrible. Yes! yes! S tier <laughs> this. Never in a million moons have I had a date such as exquisite as this one. Oh, exquisite. Exquisite. Oh, like... <laughs> it's tea. There we go. Ah. Right. Very good tea. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming. coming. Oh, I like we did that in unison. <laughs> Bye, hacker princess. In his defense, I've definitely considered grabbing fruit from the top of the trash before. Yeah. I mean, like, I do, but we've all been tempted, but you know it's in the trash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, or, or, like, if, if some people, like, you know, they leave a restaurant and, and, like, there's, like, a huge portion of food that's been untouched, do you think mm -hmm. about getting it? I, I would consider it, yeah. yeah. But then, like, if you're in the restaurant, who knows if they'll be like, no, you have to pay for that now. <laughs> you do? Don't, uh, don't most guys learn how to cook before they even grow a beard? Am I too optimistic? Um, I did not learn to cook before growing a beard. Yeah, like I, 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 yeah. I sort of like, I really enjoy cooking. I like picked it up a little bit when I went to university. It was one of those things where like I had my mom teach me a few of uh, my favorite recipes of what she cooks. Mm. And then like just during my time in university, I just found I really enjoy cooking. Mm. And it was, yeah, I just, I just like it. You know, it's fun making new stuff, just kind of throwing stuff together. You learned the basic of cooking in your teens, but no, I did not. I uh, learned yeah, at university. Late teens into university, yeah. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, like, we both went to boarding school, so. We did. Like, we, there wasn't really a need to Oh, I know. It was all those, those things, like, growing up in boarding school, and whenever I was home with my, my parents, I'd be like, hey, mom, how do you do this? And she's like, <gasps> you don't know how to do this? And I'm like, no, I... Yeah. I never had to do this before. Like, <laughs> I didn't. Even, I didn't know how. To, I didn't even know how to boil pasta when I got to uni. I was like that bad at it. Oh, at least I, you got eyes right. Mm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, you. I was. I was just kind of like, oh no, I don't know how to boil it for. I don't know how to test whether it's like the right thing. I, I mean, like, I, like I, for me, I spent enough time in the kitchen with my mom watching her cook to glean like the basics of basics. So like, what mm. knowing how to cook pasta, I could do that. But I knew I'd end up boiling it over and making a mess of it, and my mom overreacting at that. But like, see, when I was a kid, I was never allowed in the kitchen. So I never got to see what, like, you know, the food just came out. I didn't you know never helped your mom cook? No, she wouldn't let me. Wow. Yeah. No, my mom would love it if I'd come over and she'd be like, oh, can you peel these potatoes for me? And I'd be like, yes, mom. No. <laughs> too, right? Yeah, no, that was not my upbringing. Uh, my, my parents, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, if, like, my parents would love it if I still lived with them and they could cook for me every day, like, because they treat me like I'm five. Fabius, I didn't know you were going to be tagging along. <laughs> I'm trying to get a cool, gravelly voice. Oh my oh, god! Go full... oh, wait, I can't do a No, you can't voice. do that. I can't do that to my throat. No, nope, don't do good. that. You'll tie yourself out. Fabius. Fabius. I didn't know you'd be tagging a lot. Oh, Fabius. No. <laughs> Did I tell you about the time that I had dog meat in North Korea? North Korea. Yeah. You were in North Korea. Yeah, I was. Um, so my my dad was in China for a business, and he works. 
uh, like there's like this there's a section of China called Dandong that is like very close to North Korea. Like I think like you know there's like a part that's like it's there's not even separated by water. You can just go over. Um, and so yeah, like he had some business to do in Dandong, and then his friend in Dandong was like, "Hey, do you want to go to North Korea for a day?" And my dad was like, "Uh, yeah." <laughs> and then the friend was like, "Do you want to take your wife and child?" And he was like, "Yeah." So we got a day in North Korea. <laughs> How weird was it? Um. Oh. Oh God. It. It was extremely weird, man. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I was so scared the whole time. Okay. So imagine this, right? We're on a tour bus. We're on the tour bus the whole time. Well, like, and we only get let off at specific times, and like, it was very highly controlled. Like, if we walked outside the boundary, like, we weren't allowed to walk outside the boundaries of like what they'd set us, because mm-hmm. um, there were people with guns on site. Um. And so, like, we we visited the um. You know, like the huge bronze statues. Of like Kim Jong Un and Kim Jong Il or whatever mm-hmm. their names are, yeah, like the the two massive you have statues. To go there and bow, right? Yeah, we have to go there and bow. We had to present flowers, um, and so there was there was a there was a flower seller on site, like when we when we went to the thing, um, and uh, yeah, the tour guide. Um, oh, also while we were on the coach, every family unit mm-hmm. uh, like had um, had a member of like had a, a um, chaperone, yeah, yeah, had a chaperone with them, and like the chaperone with us. Um, spoke, uh, spoke like they assigned people who could speak in the languages that we could speak so they could listen to our conversations oh, yeah. um, but we kind of trolled the guy because like the guy who was with us could speak Mandarin but but he couldn't understand Cantonese oh, so we so we had just spoken Cantonese and he was just there like and I think he was about well th- well this was a couple years back but I think the guy who was with us he was quite young he's probably about our age now um, and he could yeah. also speak very limited English and so he was like Sorry, this is so unrelated, but, like, the North Korea story is actually very interesting. So, um, he was, like, so, um, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna, like, transition this bit because this, this is actually entertaining. Um, so, where was I? Yeah. So, like, the guy, the guy c- could only speak a little bit of English and, um, a, like, you know, just limited Mandarin. He couldn't speak Cantonese. So, my parents and I were speaking Cantonese, so he couldn't understand any of us. But I spoke in a little bit of English. And then he was very excited to just practice English with me, like Aww. this North, this North Korean guy in this secret service. I suppose there's limited opportunities service. to do that. Yeah, though, yeah, yeah. Right? And he was asking me like, "Oh, so like, are you a are you a student, or are you a pupil?" And I was like, "What?" Because like, student and pupil mean the same thing. But apparently, like, I think what I gathered well, from the way he was using the term student is university student, and pupil is like school. school. Um, but then pupil is also the bit in your eye. Yeah, exactly. So, so he was like, oh, are you a student or are you a pupil? And I was like, what? Because I was still in school at the time. Anyway, so that was like a whole thing. Um, but we went to we went to like a soap factory to learn how soap was made. And then it, and then we also went to a restaurant. We went to a restaurant where it was like super ornate. It was like gold and marble and chandeliers everywhere. And we were like, we walked in, we were like, wow, this is so impressive. And then you go to the toilet and the taps don't work. So then it was very much like, oh, okay, so this is... It's all for show. Like, yeah. it's all for show. Okay. And then we sat down, we had the food, the food was so shit, the meat was so stringy, and we were like, what is this? And then we called the waiter, and we were like, what What food is, we had to like speak very slowly, where we were like, what food is this? And then they were like, oh, it's dog, and they just walked away, and we were like, oh my god. So, <laughs> so, so that's how I accidentally had the dog, dog meat in North, like? um, very stringy. Not good? No, it's not good. Okay. I didn't yeah. notice that someone, you've had kangaroo. I've had kangaroo too. Oh, kangaroo is nice. You think so? I think it does, it tastes kind of bland. When I had it, it wasn't very good. Oh, I like, I, I like it. Yeah. So there's a place in Bristol called Casa Brazil that will sell you like just about every fucking meat under the, under the sun. Yeah. Um, and like, yeah, that's when I had kangaroo. Mm. And what else have I had? Oh, ostrich meat is really good. Oh, yes. Yeah. Ostrich meat is really good. Sorry to all the vegetarians and vegans out here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but um, yeah, I accidentally had dog meat, so I can't, I can't even, can't even say I don't fit that Chinese stereotype. Anyways, mm-hmm. um, so yeah, that was, yeah, so that, so that, that, that was a bit wild. Um, it was really scary actually being in North Korea because we had to, you know, we went to a war museum and they were like, yeah, this is how we won the war when they objectively did not. Yeah. Oh, um, shoot. and and they were like, yeah, we won the war, and you know, we have the best military in the world, and we have like top tier fashion and design, and I was just like this is delusional. What the fuck? Like, it well, was so thing. weird. Like the, 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 like, the dictatorship they have there has transcended just like being a dictator and now they believe that they're deities, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so it's, it's wild. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, back, this back, back. so <laughs> off the topic. Sorry. This is back to the stream. Um, yeah, so... So let's yeah. talk about daddies and being gay again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Aren't you just full of dick? <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, we are closer, you know that, 
Oh, did you know that Poker Face is actually about um, having sex with a guy while thinking about having sex with a girl? Wait, it's true. What? It's true. That, 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 that Lady Gaga said this in an interview. That's what the song is about. Huh. What should Joseph's voice be? Just regular. Well, maybe a bit high. This is basically my tithing. I'm <laughs> giving back to the community. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Plus, I'm happy just to sit here and eat all of Brian's snacks. Like me. Mm. Ah. I think Robert definitely wants to smash Craig. Yeah. Uh, I mean, surprised. they're both pretty muscular. In fact, they're all really muscular. It makes yeah. me wonder, like, you know, what makes Craig special about working out so much? Okay, I ship them. I ship them too. I ship them too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They, they balance off of each other. One's super healthy, one's super unhealthy. They balance each other out. <laughs> Yeah, like I bet, like, cause, cause, uh, Greg, Craig probably just has protein shakes and really boring food. Probably just drinks fuel and doesn't really enjoy oh, it. Nice. And then the Robert, worst farts. yeah, and then Robert, and then Robert just cooks him all this lovely food. Oh, right, oh, that'd be yeah, so cute. cute, right? Yeah, and then like Craig will be like the soft touch, like family man, daddy, yes. and his daughters, and then Robert's gonna be like, you know, that gruff daddy who so like softens up slowly, you know, mm. kind of like uh, what's his face in God of War, Kratos. Mm. Yeah, so but, like by the end of the thing, he's like. He's our dad now. He's not just boy, you know, all the yeah, time. Yeah, so so Craig helps Robert get his shit together, and Robert helps uh, Craig kind of, you know, just have a little fun and, you know, not worry about working out all the time sometimes. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Yeah, I should them. I remember, like, I was on the Florida exchange trip when I was, like, 12, and I remember playing dodgeball. Mm -hmm. I figured the balls were just like, you know, soft, spongy balls. No, they have metal framing inside. What? I was so not ready when someone flung it hard as fuck into my face. I had literally, like, I had to step out for a second and, like, I'm not proud to say it, but like 12 year old me, like, I had to like cry for a minute because I was just like, it was the shock of it and like the pain <laughs> of having this like metal ball hit me in the face. Oh I was just, no! Because I figured they'd be soft, man. Like they they should be soft, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was not we soft. Always, we always played, when I ever played dodgeball at school, we played it with relatively soft balls. Mm. But even if they hit us, it was fine. That's what I was expecting. Yeah. And then I finally got hit. Like, it was just like squirrel in the face. You oh, know what I mean? God. I once got a basketball like in, in my face. It, it really sucked. Yeah. Yeah. Knocked me over. I like. I, I was. In, I was. I must have been in like year two at the time. <laughs> I wonder it knocked you over then. <laughs> yeah. Like, what were you imagining? Just like, just big old me. Just yeah, like, maybe like you as a teenager or something. You know? Oh no, I was very small. And, like, you had this like Hulk of a man throwing a basketball at you. No, no, no. It was a, just a fellow classmate who just was playing basketball and then bounced a ball too hard and flew in my face. Um, it really sucked. Dad, I caught the ball. She'll be saying that under different contexts later in. Oh life. no! Got hopefully not. Well, I'm not saying dad. Anymore. Maybe daddy. Yeah. I hate you that. Convince that hard, I hate but, that. You know, I hate that. Doesn't change it. She'll be nope. calling someone daddy. No. Nope. Wow, you've become a parent now. You can't imagine your daughter having sex. Okay, I have never. Okay, I I have actually never said daddy in the bedroom context. Oh, I know, but so many people do. I, I know you don't say daddy. Yeah, you would know by now if I did. I would hope so. <laughs> yeah, I've been dating a year and a half, and it's like, yeah, so when are we going to have sex? <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to call me daddy? <laughs> that's like fourth base, you know? <laughs> no, that's the home run. She calls you daddy and just like, you know, slopes your balls. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? Oh! Oh, we've got to try that. Sorry, what? A whole... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just get a whole pizza. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, a and... pie. Yeah, they call it pies over there. So if you have, like... What? Right, right. Have you seen a Chicago pizza? So, <laughs> like, they have the cheese on the bottom and the sauce on top, and it's, like, really deep crust. So it's oh. tech... they call it a pie rather than just a pizza. So it's a pizza pie. Oh, my God. That's weird. I know. Wow. But apparently it's delicious. I would really love to try a Chicago pizza like that. Oh, they do call it a pizza. Oh, yeah, I have heard that. Wow. Taco when fillings. the moon hits your eye like a big pizza <laughs> pie, that's some more. There you go. Yeah. So you know it. It's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a strong male role <laughs> model in their lives. <laughs> it's killing me. Uh, Martha... You might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Oh, God. Oh, she angrily turns that. her attention to her daughter. Tiffany! Not another arcade machine! I swear if they you have to buy it! <laughs> <laughs> Mother Apparently storms off towards her kid. Voice. Fuck. Okay. She seems nice. Okay, wait. Yeah, the team is one big, weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens! <laughs> Tiffany's a, a Tiffany's a stellar hitter. 
You're friends, friends with Craig, right? Oh, yeah, Janet, right? Yeah. yeah. Ja- Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the p- pinball machine. Ooh. Uh, yeah. We went to college together. Mm. Please don't lean on my thing. Huh. That's so interesting. So, do you know if he's, like, available? Oh, I honestly don't know if I could say. Seriously, you're gonna make it tell. Because it's just, it seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it'd be great if he... Hmm. Lady, I swear to God. All of a sudden, a buzzer sounds the game is over. Janet made the pinball machine tilt. Uh, You stone harpy. (laughs) What? I said I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that will hurt your feelings. Amanda. The child looks so unimpressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like his eyes kind of, like uh, River's, uh, River's eyes were like really like big and bright earlier and now he's like, <sighs> mm, yeah. yeah, he can tell we got weak game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh! Kisses okay. my forehead, oh! So cute. Walking off champ. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, S tier. You know when you go on a date with someone, you think like, eh, and then you actually like, whoa, you know? Yeah, exactly. Damien's Damien's a good guy. That was like that was like me when we went on a date. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I thought the same. I was a bit like. <laughs> I mean, I was mostly just freaking out, but I was looking at a picture of like your WhatsApp picture, and then like uh, there was your your polyphilia page on Instagram. I was like, is this the same? But this can't be the same person. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, no, this this is this is funny, right? Like, cause you you didn't you didn't you weren't sure it was me, and so you didn't bring. it I up. I didn't want to bring it up. Because you didn't bring it up. I didn't want to. I didn't want to assume that she was the same other Asian person in case that would be a little bit racist. Yeah. So so like you wait until I actually brought up that I I do kind of polyphilia, and you're like, oh, it is the same person. Okay, I'm not just racist. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's not just another yeah, Asian it's woman. Not, it's, not, it's not me. <laughs> Well, that was weird though, because it was just like a couple months before I was dating. It was, it was, it was the girl who bought me those bouquet of flowers I mentioned earlier. She was the oh, one yeah. who turned me on to your Instagram, and I was like, okay, cool. Oh, her. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And then, um, yeah, like a couple months later, I'm freaking dating you, and it was just, yeah, it's weird, man. <laughs> I just assumed you'd be some American. <laughs> oh my god, everyone thinks I'm American. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Anyway, so now, and now we're here doing a Twitch channel. Yeah, look at us, huh? <laughs> Crazy life we live, huh? Uh, yeah, like you you were the first partner I showed on my social media because my ex wasn't comfortable with it. Yeah, your ex was a, a loser. <laughs> yeah, I turned turn around. around. And it's Joseph. Oh, uh, ah. fuck off. Oh my god. It's fucking Thank you, good. Uncle Frosty. Yeah, it's a dress, actually. I really like it. Um, yeah, because it was um, um, it was our, our partner's uh, birthday uh, today, so then uh, like I dressed up a little bit. <laughs> Um, well, actually, so so Q and Mo, um, our partners, like you know, we're in a kind of quad situation. Um, yeah, like their their birthdays are like right next to each other. So Mo's birthday's on the Saturday and Q's birthday's on the Sunday, and so yeah, they had a joint uh, birthday celebration, and it's so cute they're married. Ah, oh, anyways, I know, it's uh, disgusting, so it? disgustingly cute. Um, <laughs> like you yeah. guys, have you ever been like, you know, when you see a couple who are just so meant for each other, it just makes all other sort of like senses of like love and relationships seem fake you know mm. what I mean like doesn't matter how much you like someone you'll never be like this couple you know they're so perfect what I'm saying Leanne is you're a disappointment <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding mm. honestly I feel like Matt is you a little bit yeah I yeah. mean like I did I did I did a um, music production course before I went to university and like one of my teachers is still going on and on and on about how like vinyl is the best quality of sound you can get but you have to get like so much shit to actually make it sound the best mm-hmm. um, but it is the best quality of sound you can get um, but, right, who's the most similar to you out of these deaths now who do you reckon it's Brian isn't it no it's not Brian no, it's Joseph oh, no <laughs> <laughs> pure little Christian girl no oh my god um, I grew up Catholic as well, which is whack. But Enough. anyways, not like okay. I say grew up Catholic. I went to a Catholic primary school. My mum was very Catholic, but then I think around nine, I was like, nah. Um, so that's but yeah. The which story. which dad is the most like you? Which you reckon? Ah, uh, um, um, let me think. I hate to say it, but probably Hugo. Hugo. I mean, I can see that. Yeah. 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 What's your deepest, darkest fear out of these four fears? Uh, I mean, uh, I've the... definitely felt that what if nobody existed? It's I'm just I'm like the only person who really exists. You actually think about that? It crosses my mind sometimes, but wow, I don't really I've never believe thought... it. I've never no, thought it, it's, that. It's just you know when like 
you're just out in public and you're like every single one of these people has an entire life beyond what i can see that like they have thoughts and dreams and like you know hopes yeah. and fears and everything that i have but i'll never know because it's just so much information and why would i ever know that because there's so many people i yeah. have to stop everyone in the street and talk to them and ask them about these things I mean, I think that, but I don't think that has anything to do with, you know, like being like, I'm the only one in the universe who exists and everyone is, everyone is assimilation. No, I know. I, I, I guess mine is the opposite where you have this overwhelming sort of like fear of, well, not fear, but like you get overwhelmed by the idea that everyone has a life just like you, you know? Mm. They have moments where they're doing nothing and they're just staring into space or they're just like bullshitting on the internet. Do you want to get high and listen to our new records? Matt is you. Matt is literally mm. you. This is you. Getting high and listening to record. I did that so much in university. Oh, Me man. And my, I had this buddy... Who I ended up living with in my second and third years, and my god, like we spent so much time just putting on records or watching really art house movies and just being stoned as fuck. Oh. Good old days, man. Oh, got yeah, a message from GM GM Rafi. Actually, I want to just drop on a positive note and say I absolutely love your short form videos on Insta, Leanne. I was too shy for a DM to say that, but Twitch chat seems appropriate. They help tremendously, and I've even subtitled one in German so a friend could understand. Aww. Wow! Thank you so much. And I, like, I especially appreciate it when people translate my work, because um, yeah, like, yeah, you, you feel free to anytime. GM R GM mm. Ralphie Raffi. Ra yeah, I'm GM Raffi. Yeah, dan dich. danke schön. Yeah, very very much appreciated. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, my 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 Deutsch nicht uh, gut genug für um. Übersetzen. Übersetzen? Is Übersetzen translate? I think it is. Yeah, Thanks. let me know. I mag euch. Ich, ich mag euch beide auch. I, li I, I, like, I like you both as well. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Surprise, I speak German. <laughs> A little bit. Matt takes another hit and winces. Yeah, this is oregano. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Wait, One Piece reference. Only a savage uses oregano. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, did I tell you about the time that um, uh, when me and my ex were still together, we, you know, because he, he wasn't really into drugs, but we bought some weed one time because he was like, fine, fine, I'll try it. I'll did try it one time. Did you pressure him into taking drugs? You're no, an awful no I did not pressure him. Yeah, it sounds like you did though. <sighs> I did not. But I, I was like, I, 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 I was like, I'm gonna hit try. Her. I did not. Oh my god. <laughs> so you'll watch that movie someday. Um. So I was like, I was, I was uh, like, come yeah. on, let's do it, let's do it. Um. And he, and uh, yeah, at one point he was just like, okay, fine, I'll try it once. I am curious. And so we, we, we bought some, and then we, we had it. Like we made some edibles because like he was like, I don't want to smoke it. So mm -hmm. like whatever. And we were with a bunch of friends, and we all did it together. And turned out it was not weed. It was spice, which is synthetic weed. And um, basically. Uh, I threw up, a friend passed out, and another friend ended up going to, like, the hospital. Oh my god, it was really, it was crazy. Um, so, yeah, and, and then, and then, and then I, my ex had a panic attack for, like, three hours. It was really bad. I did Spice before. Oh my god. Um, I, yeah, Spice is not fun. Oh. Oh my god, yes. This is killing me. This is killing me. So oh, cute. Oh my god. I love him so much. I love him. Okay, let's save here. Yeah. Wait, how do I save? Um, yeah, option probably? There it yeah, is. Yeah, there you go. Save! save. <laughs> Jinx. Hmm. Ah, oh, and that's yet another stream.